Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Whoa. everybody. Woo, 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 woo. Episode four. Um, fun fact. Woo. This is the second time we're recording episode four. Correct. God damn. Tell them what happened, bro. Uh, my shot is quite fucked up, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, la, not only the shot was like bad or anything, like the main reason is because we lost the SD card. Yeah. And we suspect that it's bare. Our cat. If y'all don't know, we have three cats. One is bear, one is gray, and, and one is pew, pew pew. Yeah, right. So, bear happened to have diarrhea. Yeah, few days right ago, after yeah. we find out that my SD card <laughs> is gone. So, he was having really bad diarrhea, and I was like, "Fuck!" I wanted to edit the video. I mean, there's it's just so so much has happened. Um, in the past three weeks. When was the last episode three? Do you guys remember? I think last... <sighs> last month. Last right? month. Do you think... Do you guys think it has been a month? It's been a More? month. More? Yeah. I think it's so been like... A month. I think we recorded the episode four in the second week. Yes. And then couldn't edit because lockdown. I couldn't travel to Puchong. Just so you guys know, context, why I have to go Puchong to edit the video is because this podcast is actually very heavy. Yeah. And my laptop, my MacBook Air, I it, it just wouldn't support editing such a heavy video. I think all the footage when, and everything add up together to around 100 over gig of memory space. And my MacBook Air previously was uh, only 128 gigs. So, I mean, and then I end up buying a new MacBook. Yeah. <laughs> just so I can edit by myself without having to travel. To Puchong, yes, correct. Yeah. And I think because not only the SD card was gone, the lockdown, um, the, the, shot, the shot wasn't as nice. And then we just happened to start moving and clearing the entire office. Yes, correct. Wow, it's been like two weeks of that. <laughs> and um, it all started with Ivan showing me this video of this guy starting his streetwear brand on YouTube. And then... Um, you know, it was just an introduction of his brand and he was just working in this office and then we, we saw the office, we were like, whoa, quite cool. Huh? So I was like, whoa, quite cool, the office. I was like, looking at the shot, I'm like, quite similar to ours, what? Yeah. We just need to fix things, you know? And from that, snowball from one thing to another. Then the whole All we wanted was to just fix the window in the office because it looks horrible before this. Um, and then one thing to another, we just kept changing things and moving around. We did not really renovate it. We just painted one side of the wall and the windows. Anyway, we just started from one small little thing and then we started just cleaning up every day for the past two weeks. Just throwing things, rearranging things, um, fixing things. And wow, we've now just we been so caught up with that. And like, We have uh, a brand new office now. We have a brand new office yeah. now. Brand new office. Now if you look back, right? It's just like, you question yourself, how did I even work in that environment? Um, which is so funny because like, we totally did not find it as a problem. Correct. Uh, <laughs> still <laughs> functional. Yeah. Um, to those who've been to our office, no lah. Yeah. I don't know. A lot of people don't find it as a problem. So then now, now that we've fixed aesthetically, make it nicer, we're like, God damn, how did nobody say a word about it was almost <laughs> horrible. <laughs> But I think, you know, when I think about this question, I, I think back about it kind of reflects the entire journey as well. For the past 10 years, it has been mo moving office to office. Yeah. And then everything is just chuck it aside, put there first. And then the next thing you know, it's been eight years. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, that just shows how my mindset at that time was just chasing, yeah. chasing, chasing, chasing. And, you know... Sales, 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 and just whatever that works. Practical, jalan. You yeah. know what I mean? Janji ada jalan, yeah. jalan. Even this corner before this was horrible. Now that I, you know, reflect and think back how it used to look like, I, I, I wouldn't say the word age, but yeah, it's just the face. Lah. I guess right now I'm like, I, I'm trying to... Have more time for the space lah, now. Yeah. Sebelum ni kita just really just 
kejar kejar saja like yeah. lari lari what's lari next, non-stop, what's next? What's next? non-stop 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 go 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 yeah. go go tak ada masa untuk like okay this space uh, okay tak apa yeah. just masuk office kerja kerja um, ya yeah, kerja je dulu you like now have more time for the space yeah. to think about i think it's also us spiritually we want to be more present so we start to like look around more and be like yo actually this place needs some cleaning up and you know yeah. some fixing uh, some re- self reflection time you know what i mean i think that's what mco did, did for did, us yeah. you know even this corner we renovated it uh during cmc this year yeah. yeah early this year and then now we fixed the back i'm gonna try to like find in my phone like if there's a before and after i'm gonna show you guys <laughs> on the podcast like how crazy of a different it is yes. right um uh, a lot of work a lot of moving uh love cleaning up thanks guys thank you so much everyone round of applause y'all did a good job man wow and uh y'all like the space <laughs> yeah last man. time it feels like this corner is so nice and then our door to our office is literally here and then you open right it's like narnia <laughs> a, a whole new world it's like uh. like you know you have the dj back spin like what the fuck why so like carrot one you know why so messy one terlalu pack ah dulu yo it looks like shit bro fuck yeah, yeah. i'm just going to say it looks like shit bro for yo uh, i'm just glad that nobody actually find it a problem i think that's great man yeah. we're going to answer some questions uh but let's just kind of catch up first cuz i did put up on my ig stories to ask you guys to you know let us know what you guys want us to talk about or just have questions for me or for us okay and uh but yeah that's just been a crazy one month um i felt really bad for not uploading for a month um uh, i want to make a shout out to this follower this guy called aitai okay he means shorty but he wrote chinese ah so i don't know what his ig id is but anyway like he texted me literally last night and said hey bro what's up how are you um I missed the podcast and your energy. Ooh. I was like, oh man, I feel so bad right now. And I like the fact that he used the word energy just cuz I'm glad that our energy is sort of inspiring or at least just entertaining for you guys. Especially right now we're in a lockdown. Yeah. <sighs> and uh how how's the lockdown been, bro? Lockdown's been good, I think. Uh all of us we We applied for the vaccine. Yeah. Um I got my first appointment in July. Uh everyone did except for Liang. Yeah, I still belum dapat. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I I hope you get yours ASAP. Um are you nervous for the vaccine? Uh not really. I'm just waiting actually. Hari I think hari tu saya ada update sikit benda lagi. So mm. ada something different lah from the previous time. I, from my sejatra. Yeah, yeah, from my sejatra. So I update lagi one time dia tanya saya ada pregnant ke tak. Saya tulis tak ada dan lepas tu yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So okay. resubmit dan lepas tu ialah tunggu the first dose mungkin ni lah. Yeah. Yeah. I was one of them that couldn't get into the page where it was stuck. And then Jean and Ivan just helped me try and I somehow got it the next day. But yeah. Lockdown's been crazy. The cases been crazy. Shit. What do you think? You think we're going to extend the lockdown or no? I think most probably yes. Oh man. For another 14 days, I think uh yeah. Oh, man. That's sad, man. I hope everyone is doing okay at home. Um we try to record more episodes uh, if it extends. And by the way, this is the first episode that we don't have a guest. Obviously because yeah. it's lockdown and a lot of people ask me like why don't you just get them um online do it online live yeah ah i don't know man i feel like it's so different i can do it right of course everyone's yeah. been doing it and it's stupid for me and silly for me to even say that it's different cuz like the person has to be here and then we can feel each other's energy like <laughs> now i feel like i'm talking about like, like an old man um i just feel like i can afford to not do it online Cause you know you do online. I don't know like maybe Zoom and all is better now these days. Like the the response and the way they communicate is like one fast, one slow. Yeah, maybe just, the the connection, the internet, the connection yeah. too. Yeah, I can trouble. Uh. Yeah, and we can totally go solo dolo, right? Uh, without a guest. I don't think um, the idea was really to just have a guest and then have an interview. 
And the funny thing is like, I feel like a lot of Malaysians are not ready for podcasting yet. They still don't know. A lot of people still don't know what podcasting is. And the first thing for someone to think of podcasts, if they don't know about podcasts, is that it's an interview. Mm. It's question, answers, question, answers, question, answers, where Correct. what I view podcast is just a conversation, um, having to know each other better, share stories, have a good conversation, basically. Okay. So a lot of people suggested online, which, nah, I, I don't think so. I want to do online. La. I think it will open up. Uh, we can wait. Like no one, no, there's no producer behind the camera saying what we can or what we can't do. Yeah. So we going solo dolo, bro. What's up? Let's go. Co-host Liang, baby. What's up? Let's go. Uh, by the way, we're going to do a lot of answers. Okay. And a lot of questions are about you. Wow. Yeah. Okay, about me. So okay. I guess then now it is an interview if you guys want it. Man, I don't know. Like, like people are just weird. Like, <laughs> shit. And some people are like, yo, podcasting, yo, it's one hour plus, damn long, Sial. Like, why don't you do like a 10 minute one or 15? That, come on, man. Shit. Sorry for the rent. But yeah, let's jump into some questions and then we'll uh, chit chat a bit. Okay. Uh, yeah, a lot of questions about you, but we'll, 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 we'll pick a few. Um, there's a lot, by the way, if I don't pick your question i'm sorry i think one is enough la, not too many yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> no a lot of it is just like oh how do you and liang meet and oh, stuff like okay, that okay, so okay. okay okay first one i'm gonna go with this one la, okay it's uh from sri shal shalini shalini yeah shalini sri shalini she asked how to ensure that you have the right team that believes in the same vision as you <sighs> i think for me um it's, it sounds very easy, right, for a company to say, okay, this is our vision, and everyone, this is the vision. Literally just give you a picture and like, this is the picture that we want. Yeah. And I think it's, it's totally not enough. Um, I think vision, you need time for people to see the vision. It's not a goal. It's different. Vision is like, to me, in the clouds, something that you can't really grab. Right. And mission is different. Mission is like, okay, guys, I want how much sale this month. I want to, you know, like yeah. those are mission and goals that you can like just really grab and like achieve. But vision is something where I feel it's a constant work, right? It's true conversation, it's true hanging out together, knowing each other better, letting you guys understand me and always explain why. I feel like a lot of probably like boss or leaders or companies don't do is that they don't tell you why. Yeah. And if you don't have the why, people will not understand. And then now they are only following SOPs. Like it's, it will become like an SOP, right? Yeah. Basically just give you an A, you just do A, give you a B, just yeah. do B. And it takes you so many years to yeah. see my vision. Correct. And we're still continually like trying to see the vision. Every time I have a new inspiration, a new, new, new picture in my head, a new direction, such as cleaning up the office, just flipping it around. Like, it's not just like, hey, do this, do that. Like, it's, it's a vision where, hey, we can totally make this space more comfortable and be, everyone could enjoy better and excited to come to work. And just sharing the why is more important than trying to just, okay, our company motto is this, 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 everyone follow, you know? Like for me and Ivan, Every time we have an idea, it does not just come overnight. We have to constantly just hang out and have conversation. And, you know, I'll tell him like, hey, this looks really dope. Don't you think like, you know, our company should go this direction? No, 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 no. And then we, we let it sink in, you know, and then we let it marinate. Right. Yeah. We've been using that word a lot lately. Manifest, marinate. manifest, manifest. Manifest it, yeah. you know, just think about it. And then it's not just really like, hey. We want to be a really cool company. Huh? We want to sell to cool people. Huh? We want to, you know, like, it's not like that. But I think it takes a lot of time to share because it's a belief. What If I were to say, if I want to share my vision to you guys, you guys have to believe it or else it just won't work. Lah. It just won't work. Um, second question. I hope I answered the question. Uh, second question is, Cyrus, um, are you planning to make negative or Cap City international and how? What do you say, Liang? I think yes. And how? 
make more bus. True, but go on. Try our best to make Set every customer you. happy. <laughs> make every customer happy. Yeah. Make every customer happy. Uh, make more bus. Um, and what else? That's it. Right? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, agree. And I think it kind of aligns with my my answer. I don't think we're planning, okay, um, to go international. We, I am just planning to follow what Liang just said, which is treat every custom, make every customer happy, and make more buzz. Make more buzz meaning equals uh, better content, better better quality products, um, and all that. Yeah. Right. And if it happens, it happens. Trust me, when I started the brand, right, so many people were like, oh. Well, you have to get out of Malaysia, bro. You need to get out, make it out of Malaysia, bro. Like, why is everyone trying to tell me to get out of Malaysia, bro? This is my home. Yeah. If I can't please the people here, how do you expect me to go please the Koreans and the Japanese just because you feel like there is a different value and, and more potential? Yeah. You know, once you go out, you're like, oh, yo, my brand is in where and where. What's the point when the people here don't know you or don't like you or don't support you enough and then you want to go out there and please other people other people bro yes. what do you why why do you even think that they would like it if you Correct. can't even please sure then there are people who argue like oh but the Malaysians they're not visionaries they, they're not creative enough but I feel like if you can't adapt to the situation where you are where you're gonna live and where you're gonna be based at how are you gonna go I just don't understand that I don't think so. So, I don't think we're planning. Uh, we're just going to do whatever we can. Uh, be the buzz of the town and be the king of that, that land yeah. first. And then, if it happens, it will, it will happen. By the, by the time it will happen. It's just a matter of time, I think. Yeah. yeah. Patience. Patience. All right. Third question. Shady Mock. Ask advice for people who are chasing their passion but in a situation of having to pursue studying. Okay, this one interesting. <sighs> this one interesting. I, I think I've said this before, right? I said, um, you have a lot of time. Everyone has a lot of time. It's just a matter of do you want it or you, do you not? Let's be honest first. Are you really even studying or not at night? Every night. Can you really not take out two hours to pursue that one thing that you want? Right? You could be Netflixing, TikToking, Instagramming. My God, we're making so many TikTok videos, guys. Shit. Yeah, that yeah, was one yeah. of the updates I wanted to say. Uh, it's so much work to do one TikTok video. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck my life. One video, you look at it like five seconds, like, hey, this one easy, what? And yeah. then once you start, right, fucking one hour, yeah. <laughs> What the fuck? But yeah. yo, we're, we're having fun. We're learning a lot of new things. We're just, so just fun, trying so. some... Just trying different new things. things uh, new yeah. things. Yeah. So, fuck, I was in this <laughs> this question. But yeah, um, advice for people who want to chase their passion but still studying. Guys, can one. Fuck, don't lie to yourself. Fuck, yeah. bro. Don't. Don't. <laughs> don't lie. You're just lazy. Can one. 20 fucking four hours... We all got the same time. If someone can do it, you can. It's just then you just look at that person who can, right? And you're like, mm, how does he manage his time? What does he do when he wake up? What time does he wake up? And what does he do first thing in the morning? What time does he go to sleep? Like, like successful people leave tracks, leave footprints, right? Yeah. And all you have to do is just, just follow. follow the footprint and you will get to the same destination. It's like ways, right? If I were to drive there first, Use this route, you follow me. You're going to get there, yeah, bro. Yeah, correct. So if, if someone can do it, you can do it. Don't lie to yourself. You're not studying. So <laughs> you can study. No, you study during class and then at night you're not studying, man. Then you do whatever yeah. you want, no? Yeah. Huh. Okay. Next question. I cannot pronounce this person's Instagram name. H-L-F-S-I-J-W-K-M-S-R-N. Oh. Ask. You see, fair. Ife, yeah. yes, it's Ife. She likes to change her name, right? <laughs> to just random letters. <laughs> wow. I wonder what's the reason behind. But Ife asked, how did you and Liang met? met? Think through a friend. Uh, through a friend. Yeah. 
Lindy. Lindy. Yeah, correct. Lindy is my college mate. And yeah, she's my college mate. And she happened to be Liang's colleague. Yes, colleague. Uh, yeah, our marketing executive. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. And executive. you were working in that company? Yes, same same group. Same, same group, group. Selling, same department. Um, what's uh, the brand? A lot of brand. No. Zoo York. Zoo York. Then after that, Star we have... Star 360. Star 360, okay. correct. Then we have Bertula. Then we have Patagonia. Then we have... Ooh. Yeah. Patagonia, Do they still carry Patagonia? No more. Pa- Patagonia at that moment is just a brand. It's a new brand in Malaysia. So not a mm. lot of people... Not, not as hype as yeah. it is right now. Yeah. Last time, that, that era is like Timberland. Okay. Yeah. So Patagonia is just a new brand for Malaysian. Okay. Yeah. So you and Lin- Lindy was working in the same... Should I tell the full story or not? But I think I've said it before. Guys, there's this vlog. I think me and Liang, we're in the car one. I don't know which yeah, episode, yeah, but yeah. go check that out. We had another one of these conversations. Yes, yes. But uh, okay, quick one. Now. I'm going to make it as quick as possible. So basically, I told Lindy I needed to hire someone like Patrick. And Patrick is one of my best friends who is very hardworking. Every time we go out and uh, uh, just chill, he would just do work. All right. And I always, you know, as someone who, and an employer, as a, as a boss myself, I, I, I look at him, I'm like, I feel envious and jealous of his boss because there's someone out there that actually works so hard for the company. And the boss is not even there. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I told, I told her, I want someone like Patrick and she knows Patrick. So um, she said, okay. And then the next thing you know, she called me. She said, wait, I found this guy though. <laughs> This guy, he literally looks like Patrick. I was like, whoa, are you f-? like, what about the, you know, just work ethics and just attitude in general, right? Personality. She's like, also like Patrick. I was like, what the fuck is serious? So we quickly arranged the interview. Um, Liang came over. Yeah. And I, I, I just finished work, working out in the gym. You were downstairs and then we met at the staircase. Yeah, so, then we- yeah we're going to put this to an end, right? They always ask, how do we meet, right? Yeah. That's how we met. I just finished workout in my workout clothes. Liang was literally downstairs here in Subang. And I saw him. Did I say, what's up? I say, you are Liang. I say, uh, you are Niger. I say, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go up. I say, okay. I mean, just go up. Yeah. Then, yeah, we start interviewing the office. Yeah, interview. The old office, yeah. Okay, the old okay. office. Yeah. yeah, the horrible office. But. The horrible. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then? Then after that, the story... Yeah, you hired me. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, then after that, I start working here. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, the first day <laughs> that I remember, yeah, the first day I working here is... Um, you were in loafers? Yeah, in loafers Fucking. and the shirt and the tight jeans. Yeah, and yeah. the tight jeans. And yeah, that's how we met lah. Yeah. So, um, Liang was not the Liang that you know now. Uh, he was very different, uh, not just dressing wise, but even just he was not part of the culture, like at all, at all. At so, all. Um, which leads me to another question later. When I, I remember seeing someone asking, um, which I'm gonna just answer now, Jala. Uh, he said something like, "Fuck," something like, "How do you be part of the culture? How do you be part of the?" Streetwear? I think he said streetwear or hip hop. I don't know. Yeah, beginners. Stay true to the beginners' guide to streetwear culture by Butkins fifteen. So Liang was not part of the culture. He yeah. was super like Chinese. Chinese, Chinese like, yeah. Listens to like S H E J Chow. I listen to J Chow. Yeah, J Chow. Yeah, just very Chinese lah in general, right? Like no, no idea. He thought every white rapper was Eminem. <laughs> That was like the biggest fucking shit <laughs> of the year. It's like, oh, Eminem, white guy. Oh, no, it was like Pitbull. <laughs> Pitbull. He literally thought Pitbull was Eminem. Okay? It's that, that, that level, okay? So, um, I, I, to your answer, I think the, the easiest way is to work in uh, the streetwear line or just join friends that are maybe b-boys or rappers or graffiti or DJ. Like, just... You just need to go out, lah. First of all, yeah, I think right. learning and respect, lah, the culture, then you can slowly, slowly can learn something from them. Yeah, yeah, that's the most important thing, lah. I think, like you say, I didn't have any clue about the culture and all. 
Yeah. Yeah, but you don't even wear cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You comb your hair, bro. Yeah. You gel your hair to the interview or to the first day of work. I don't know. First but, day yeah. to first day of the work. Yes. Yeah, first day of work. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Liang was very different. Um, but yeah, everyone loves Liang. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Anything we want to elaborate there before I move on to the next question? No, you can move on to the next question. Serious, huh? Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, how to buy top mo square? How to stay true in the game? How to stay true to the game? How do you, like, keep it real? Stay true to yourself, bro. Yep. It's only true if you find it true yourself right because even if you stay true to yourself other people might think you're faking it or you're not true you're a sellout you're a fake you're so before you want to be so you know i want to stay true how do i stay true to the game first you stay true to yourself because then everything you do is true to you again someone's gonna judge you so don't feel obligated that i want to like Contribute to the game. Contribute to the culture. You see what I've done for the culture. You know, a lot of people want to like, for the culture, for the culture, or for, for, for this industry. No, chill first, bro. Yeah. Don't need to be to so yourself. like ambitious first, bro. You stay true to yourself first, bro. Just do whatever that is like closest to you and what you believe, right? The thing that you trust, la, the thing that you trust, the thing that you want to do. Yeah. And this whole sellout thing and like people just simply judge you, la, right? But I think there was uh, this guy, Zach, from Enfersen. He asked me this question. He said, yo, bro, what do you think about the industry right now? And like, how can we improve things? You know, all these brands, they keep uh, throwing prizes. So when people throw prizes, of course, you know, the market will react to lower price. Yes, correct. And so then the next guy feels like, fuck, I need sales. I also need to throw price. Ah. Then everyone is throwing price. Everyone is throwing price, right? And he said, how do we ever, do we ever come to a point where everyone doesn't do uh, sell? I said, it's hard, bro. Yeah. You know why? Because everyone just want more, right? And they want to sell more. So they make more. And then to find out that, ah, fuck, this design isn't great or this didn't, didn't work out, what do they do? They just throw price and this. Right? So I'm trying to stay as true as possible. That's why we only have one once a year sale. Awesome. Like we don't, I don't believe in sale. I don't believe in creating something and selling yourself short after that. It's like saying, hey, look at this. I'm a five star. Oh, sorry, sorry. Actually, I two star. <laughs> you know? It, like no I'm not I mean unless you have a real good reason right or else you're just simply gonna be like pressured by the industry and then you wanna just keep up so I try to stay true as much as I can and that's why we don't overproduce anything anymore not as bad as before yeah right there, there were collections where we over invested right um, and I questioned myself why it's, it was because I, I believed I could make this much and I want to and I did it and then that backfires with you know unmovable stocks and then you have to fucking throw price yeah I mean it's okay to have discounts but just know why you're doing it and if you really need it so at the end of the day back to the question how do you stay true to the game first you stay true to yourself um, come in good terms with your inner self right you can sleep at in peace and not uh, care too much about the critics and whatever other people are doing then you're true to the game you, you, you're you true to yourself yeah so and that applies to everything else like, right art in general music art design whatever okay what's your view on NFT with art Ooh. what's my view with <sighs> NFT with art I don't know too much about NFT still but I kind of understand, kind of see the bigger picture. But Liang, do you know what NFT is? NFT is the one that 
the other day Ivan talked about, right? Yeah, some yeah. putting in a platform and sell online, like online, okay. technically. Yeah, and it's been going crazy. Um, there's this artist called Be- Beepo. He made like sixty nine million dollars overnight. But I want to stress on this point. Everyone is like, "Yo, Beepo makes sixty nine million overnight. NFT is the way to go." Sure, now that the early birds get the worm, but let's not forget people, if I'm not mistaken, he was putting out one piece of art for 14 fucking years. 14 fucking years, bro. Years, bro. Yes. Every day, bro. Not 14 weeks, huh? 14 you years. thought Russ releasing one song in a week for two years on SoundCloud was crazy? No. And I'm so glad that these real motherfuckers are putting in the work and so much time and they finally made it. I'm just so happy. Yeah. And he looks like a genuinely like a really good guy that deserved that 69 million. I don't know. But people are like, oh, NFT, NFT, make money, make money, sell, it's sell, sell. It's not about the money. It, it is, but it's not kind of. Sure, you can make a lot of money now. Um, I don't want to speak too much on it, lah. Just in case you know, I said something wrong about what what's happening in that space. is is quite complicated. But a lot of people are also judging NFT, saying that you know, it's just, it's just uh, what you call it, a hype, uh, a hype, yeah, a hype, a hype. No, there's another word, fat, yeah, fat. So, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think NFT is gonna it's gonna be here to stay. But interesting. I think we would definitely be we were interested to sort of you know, explore the space, but uh, we're not going to jump in unless we really understand. Lah. So, yeah, 14 fucking years, bro. One Every art day. a day. Go check him out on Instagram. The art is crazy. Uh, one a day, bro. Dude. Dude. <laughs> you must miss one day, right? Come on. Kena lah MC sikit. Tak MC lah dia. Tak. Tak sakit lah. They suka, they the mom, suka. they still draw. Other family still, member pass away. Still can draw. Tire bumped. Still can draw. Come on. Can. If you want, you can, bro. Right? <laughs> Have to buy the kampong. No, yeah. You still can buy. 14 bow- years, bro. Dude, <laughs> I've. Man. 69 million, bro. You, oh, bro. I, I'll press. I forgot to press the money. 69. Okay, next. Um. Question, Azmel Hazim As younger generation on investing long term. Is it financial or what? But having that said, financial or not, does not matter. You invest in yourself. That's what you need to invest in. Invest in yourself. Be a better friend. Be a better son. Be a better brother. Be a better employer, employee. Just be better. There's so much work to do for yourself. So don't think about, oh, I mean, I don't know your real context of your question, whether if you want, if you're asking like investing, what, some funding or like some scheme. Girl. Nah, I don't know. I don't do that. So I only know how to invest in myself. And that is the best long-term investment you can make. Because eventually, if you be a better person today, you do good, you help a person out, it will come back someday. Correct. Right? Yeah. And that is long term. Like basically, you're, you're laying down your foundation in the future where if you really need help one day, people would help you. Help you. And I just want to add on a little bit here because um, I've been asked by a few people like, yo, so what's your advice and how do you um, sustain, right? During these trying times, during this pandemic, how do you still be in business, be in the market, right? And, and I, I've been thinking about the answer. How come we can still be here? Why? Like a lot of business are closing down. The cafe downstairs just closed down. Um, every day we see business closing down. So I'm yes. like, every day I'm trying to count my blessing. Like, yo, we're still here. We're still here. We're still fucking here. And I want to find the answer. And so my answer is like, wow, okay. I think I kind of get the picture now. Because whatever we're really doing now is nothing really different before COVID, but Correct. It's the same every day. Sure, we kind of did one or few things here, but 
generally for the past year, we haven't been doing something really different. So how are we still here? And it goes back to um, the topic that we were, which is invest in yourself, right? If you be the best version of yourself every day, it will come back. And I believe today we can still be in the market and still doing okay, just okay, right? Which is amazing. Um, it's because we've been doing the right thing. We've been trying to better ourselves every day for the past eight years. I mean, for Cap City, eight years. We've been trying to always just better, better. How do we make the packaging better? How do we serve our customer better? How do we communicate with them better? How do we just treat people better, right? And I think people over time, they trust you. And a lot of companies were not doing the right thing. They were not treating the customers right. Um, big business, small business, right? Even just, let's just talk about a small restaurant. If they have not been treating people right and cooking the best meal, whatever that they're selling, if they're not giving the best chow kway teow every plate, right? For however long you were doing this before the pandemic, you're going to be fucked. Yeah, no people will come back anymore. Nobody will remember you and say like, yo, the I wonder if the chow kway teow uncle got, <laughs> got what's up? I need to find him because I want to eat his chow kway teow. And if, if he would have been on grab food or food panda, like people would come to you. And I find that question really hard to answer because it's not like, oh, you do this, you do this during a pandemic, then you'll be fine. I don't think we did anything like that. Yeah, no. We thought that the online was the future and we just wanted to invest and just dive deep into online, right? And when the pandemic happens, we're online ready already. Thank God we're online ready. Yeah. Right? We were already on Shopee. We were already we were already pushing out the capcity.com. So just blending two questions into one, you know. Uh, just invest in yourself, be the best version of yourself. And yeah. Eventually, yeah, uh, you will get there. Eventually, you will be pandemic-proof because when you need something or you're still providing value, people will still come to you. Lah. So, um, I think we're going to wrap up soon. So, let's go with uh, negative <coughs> flagship store soon. By Sunshine and the 8 Cookie. By the way, I'm wearing the collab tee, guys. So, it's already out. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if they still have a lot. So, DM them if you're interested. Sunshine and the Egg Cookie. It's a collab tea that we made for the 10th anniversary. It's in conjunction with the 10th anniversary release in his store. So we made very few of these. So super cute with the sun. Ding. And the cookie in the behind. Oh, there's a cookie at the back too. <laughs> anyway, negative flagship store soon. Actually, here is so flagship really well. <laughs> Well, technically, we're sharing with Cap City, but you know. I don't think so, lah. Not, not anytime soon, lah. Actually, we went from four stores to one. I don't want to go back to four stores, lah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but actually, negative point other official websites in the Rika. Yeah, so yeah. Far, yeah. We still have, uh, we have a new website, mm. but only it only opens when we have a new drop. So, but you can still go check it out, negativeeverything.com. Uh, but yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't log in. La. You need a password. a password. If you want to buy negative, just go to the capsity.com. Why are we promoting our own brand? What was the question? Negative flagship store soon? Yeah. No, the answer is no. <laughs> Not anytime soon. La. So, you know, future good. Yeah. I think we like this, this space. Uh, keeping the collection sort of small, but nice. Everything tip top. You know, we will only work within our capacity and not try to, you know... Expand, 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 expand. Chill, bite off more than you can chill, right? Yeah. So, no. And I think a lot of the other questions are just, what's next, 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 what's next? Yeah, you know, uh, like, this what's next thing is so annoying. No offense, uh, like, bukan marah tapi saja lah, nak share kan. But aren't you guys tired of people asking you what's next? Like, can we be in the present or not? Yeah. Can we can we reach out to someone and say, yo, I see you're doing good. I'm happy for you. Don't go what's next, man. Yeah. Shit. So peer pressuring. So like, 
I don't know, man. I feel like in this society, everyone is just pressured with that question, right? Always be ready with the answer of like, oh, next is like, uh, we got this fire plan. Lah. So basically, we're going to execute like this. We're going to penetrate the market like this. You know, or like, oh, I'm going to change the job and then I'm going to like, no, no, no. Like everyone is obligated to have an answer. Sometimes you just don't have the answer, you know. We only know how to be the best version of ourselves every day. I think, oh, I think in the previous recording I said this, right? Um, I said, I said something along the lines like, uh, people are always asking about the future plans. Yeah. But four o'clock later today, it's also a future, future. that you have to plan. But most people are only thinking of five-year, three-year, ten-year plan and what the end goal would be like. They neglect like, oh, I actually need to start working now, working on it now, whether it's learning, researching, thinking. So I, I don't think we have like a what's next, next thing. It's just continuing to just, again, make better products, better designs, improve our quality, our sales, service faster, Whatever la, whatever it can be, uh, whatever we can be, the best we be the best first. Then we think about the future. So next next Tuesday is a future plan. Probably you should think about that too. Right? This Saturday also is a future plan. You should think about that too. What are you gonna do later tonight? Also future plan. What? Also what's next? What are you gonna do today? I, I'm so done with fire planner. Whatever we planned before, Liang, it all fucking fuck yeah. <laughs> Whatever people plan, right? This pandemic just fuck everyone up. Yeah. Everyone. Right? What happened to your five year, ten year plan right now? No more, bro. No more, bro. No more, bro. And I'm not mocking them or you know, but that's just the reality. Lah. That just I just hope that through this pandemic, people get to sort of see a different light in it and be like, yo, shit, that is true. I don't really even need a three year plan. The world is moving so fast. The way we communicate with each other, the way we produce content, consume content, the way we talk, the way we speak, type, emojis, like the world is fucking speeding. Yeah. yeah. And you want to think what you can do in five years? Bro, come on, get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> you can't fucking think of what will happen next two weeks, bro. Yeah. Lockdown or not, you don't know. Right? Everything you don't know. So this pandemic really just proved like... The future is uncertain, so don't think so much about your future. Worry about the day. Just be the best person, the best version of yourself today, lah. That that is like my my best advice, lah. Yeah, I think there's a lot of questions really about just what's next. You know, someone asked if I I got hair on top. <sighs> I I post stories, you know. I I go jogging, got hair one. Come on, man. <laughs> I just love wearing caps, guys. Come on, that's why I started Cap City. <laughs> but that's so funny. Someone asked me about secret about what secret only you and your mom knows or the other way around with your dad. Guys, my mom and my dad is watching the podcast. So it's... Just <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. <laughs> what is this kind of question, oh, take a tea. <laughs> Another question says, what is the next target? <laughs> guys, I'm not angry. Lah, okay, You guys, are f please feel free to send me questions. But that is my answer, lah, basically. No next just right now, okay? I just hope my answer kind of just give you a different perspective of things. This, yeah, after, after 10 anniversary, what's next? You know? <sighs> we just want to celebrate 10 year anniversary, guys. Yeah. I don't want to think about 11, 12, 13. <laughs> I don't even want it to come. Chill, don't rush. Yeah. <laughs> enjoy the, the rush, enjoy the process. Enjoy the show, my yeah, man. Enjoy the show. Oh, shit. <laughs> Enjoy, the, Enjoy show. the show. Guys, go watch Moneyball. Yeah. Um, I introduced a movie to Liang and Liang watched like three times in yeah. three, uh, times. three three nights in a row. Wow. Have a Yeah. Yeah. It's about enjoying the show. Like. It's just about it's it's about baseball, but you don't need to know baseball to understand the movie. It's deeper than that. Uh Brad Pitt is the actor for this movie. So go go check out Moneyball. That's super dope. Uh da 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 da, da. Okay, lo. I can um, there's really a lot of other ones, but yeah. <sighs> okay. Um, guys, go follow TikTok. We, we're crazy. We're, we're, man, we're late to the party. I know. Yeah. I know. But better never late, late yeah, better late, late than never. Okay. It's follow the Cap City TikTok. Um, our reels have been doing okay. Yeah. 
Instagram. But yo, go to TikTok lah. Come on. Come on. Yeah. It's been a lot of time, man. Crazy. Once again, Liang, co-host for today. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> thank you. Thank um, you. Thank you for subscribe, having me. Subscribe. Follow. Uh, we, we are on Spotify. People still ask if the podcast is on Spotify. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. Guys, round of applause, baby. Let's go. Thank you. Bye.